here today to speak on behalf of Fianna Fáil in relation to the public sector pay talks that are commencing this afternoon. And our position in Fianna Fáil is that improvements in take-home pay of public servants must be in line with general salary and wage improvements in the entire economy. Everybody knows in Ireland 85% of the workforce is in the private sector, 15% is in the public sector. Every household in Ireland suffered financially over the last eight years, and every family who has contributed to getting the economy back in the seat is entitled to benefit from any improvements that are taking place now. So we believe it is valid, just like there are increases happening in the private sector, that they should be shared with the public sector. We are clear. The increases in the public sector should not be held back or be behind what's happening in the private sector, nor should they run ahead. And in this instance, we will be calling for independent verification of what is happening in these talks by people external to the talks to ensure that the increases being spoken about are in line with what's happening in the wider economy. Maybe people like the CSO or other consultants may have to help produce those figures. And essentially, while the talks are ongoing, by the end of June, we will see a detailed statement from Minister Howland regarding the financial emergencies in the public interest legislation known as FEMPI as to their continued existence or orderly wind down. And I think finally, in the light of that, we will be able to achieve some sustainable increases in take-home pay. And I stress take-home pay because a pay improvement can occur by an increase in pay rates but especially can also happen by a reduction in the public pension levy, USC, PAYE or PRSI are a combination of all of those. And finally, we would say we have to be conscious as well. There is a low pay commission operating at the moment, which will be reporting in a few weeks in terms of increase in the minimum wage. That has to be factored into these negotiations because you can't have that which is happening in the private sector happening independently of what's happening in the public sector. We want gains for all families in a sustainable manner and remembering we have to live to our commitments to eliminating the budget deficit in an ordinary manner as shortly as possible.